So Rob, we're here at uh, Google I.O., which is the Google Annual Developers Conference, and we just finished the two and a half hour keynote where uh, different executives get up on stage and like to announce different product announcements and updates and new toolkits for developers. What did you think was the most exciting thing that you saw today? It was interesting to see they're trying uh, a third tack at uh, going at TV. Uh, we'll see if this one works. Um, they did seem to acknowledge that their previous ones had been pretty geeky. No one wants to search or browse on a TV, so they had a voice-activated uh, version um, of search. So for example, I could say something like, who played Katniss in the Hunger Games? And of course, the answer is... Jennifer Lawrence played Katniss Everdeen in the Hunger Games. Another thing that I thought was really exciting was the announcement of wearable watches um, that are going to run Android Wear, which is the platform for uh, wearables that uh, Google is putting out. Uh, everyone who was presenting on stage had a, a smartwatch on, so it was either the big square um, LG G watch or a Samsung one is the new version, and then there's also a round Motorola version that uh, looks, I think, a little sleeker, although they're all kind of big, which is a thing that everyone sort of noticed. Um, it'll, you know, we'll have to see whether um, they're going to be uh, fashionable enough for people to want to wear them all the time, but they do do some cool stuff. There's sort of a watch face as well as a um, touch screen you can use to move through apps and you have them sort of integrated with your phone so you have your phone notifications at all times without having to whip out your phone. So one thing I found interesting was the uh, Android for cars. Navigation, communication, music, and other forms of stream media. Android Auto puts these front and center. So you don't have to go hunting through a grid of icons to find the apps that are most important to you when you're in the car. I think they're really trying to move into all kinds of different screens. Um, you know, we saw a TV, we saw uh, watches and, and cars. And um, again, they're, they're trying to make um, uh, Android work for each of these things um, without requiring app developers to develop differently for each one. We saw voice activation which can be used um, to get maps and to talk to people, send emails. They also talked about Google Fit which sounds pretty interesting. Parmi uh, Olson had written about that and broke that story for us. What do you think? So I was really excited to see that um, our story about Fit that came out a few weeks before the developers conference was definitely correct in understanding what this new platform was going to be. It's a place where um, different health trackers, activity trackers, um, apps on your phone, other sort of um, health monitoring devices that we see getting more and more popular can have all their data coming together in one place. So we can't forget that this was um, a developer conference and Android is the star here. So um, you know they, they announced uh, several new features that look pretty cool. Um, uh, mostly user interface stuff that just makes it a smoother experience. What if pixels didn't just have color, but also depth? What if there was an intelligent material that was as simple as paper, but could transform and change shape in response to touch? Ripples is one thing where you can touch a button and it will sort of ripple like water, so you can tell which button you pitch, pushed on a, on a keypad. Um, another was um, better animations. Um, and also uh, animations and, and games and such that can go across screens. That was a real big theme here where you can start doing something on one screen on your smartphone, go to your TV or your Chromebook or whatever. Like most conferences, it ended with sort of a product giveaway for uh, all the attendees, which people already sort of knew about that it was going to be a square face watch as well as a round face watch. And they also gave away something that I think might be a joke uh, giveaway, which is a cardboard, hashtag cardboard thing, um, that unfolds into sort of an Oculus Rift type uh, like visor seer thing that you can put a phone in and have some sort of virtual reality with. This is what it looks like when it's done, although I'm not sure I'm going to be able to figure it out right away. We'll have to see exactly what this is, but uh, since we didn't have to sign up for it, it's definitely not like a huge product. But the watches will be coming um, so that developers can see uh, the kind of apps that they might be able to make um, for people's wrists. So I think the takeaway actually is that Google is um, becoming a little more Apple-like. If it wasn't obvious already that these two are the poles of uh, mobile devices, it, it sure is now. I think Google is trying to respond to the criticism they had that um, their uh, Android is splintered, it provides an experience that's uh, tough for developers to develop to. I think they're trying to fix that. Um, so that's, we'll, we'll see if uh, this latest Android will do it.